Have you been holding out on buying your gaming PC? Because let's just face it, in 2018, there was a lot of shiznick happening that would definitely deter a person from going out and buying themselves a gaming PC. That is for sure. But real quick, before we jump in, and I'll let you know why, right now is actually a really great time to build a gaming PC. Let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Are you looking for the absolute best way to manage and control the password for your iPhone or iPad device? If you are, you should try iSCoff's Unlock Tool. It helps you unlock your iPhone or iPad in just minutes. No matter what the passcode, touch ID, or face ID, iSkySoft's Unlock can easily remove it. It's fully compatible with iOS 12 and the iPhone XS. So if you're looking for the best way to control your passcode for your iPhone or iPad device, check out the link in the description below and give iSkySoft's Unlock tool a try. So all right, now that that's out of the way, let's talk about why right now is a really good time to build yourself a gaming PC. First of all, let's talk about video card prices. Right now, we all know that NVIDIA has released all their new RTX stuff. It's super duper expensive, but check it out. All of the last generation cards you can find used for unbelievably cheap, even cheaper than the stuff that we found today for you guys. And you guys can buy used stuff, used video cards for really an unbelievably low price right now because right now there's no mining going on. There's nothing right now that's taking, you know, gaming video cards away from the gamers, where, it's, where, they're, where they're supposed to be. They're supposed to be in the gamers' hands. They're not supposed to be in miners' hands, making money to buy stuff with digital currency. No, they're supposed to be in your computer, playing games, having fun, and making your life interesting so you don't feel like jumping off a bridge or going crazy, right? Exactly, we all know what I'm talking about. Playing PC games keeps us sane. You go in your game, you blow shit up, and you have fun, you go around, you shoot stuff up, you blow stuff up, or whatever your thing is, you chase around in a dungeon. No matter what, PC gaming, any act gaming actually takes your mind off the stress of normal life. You get in there and you have your fun and escape that stuff. And not being able to buy a gaming PC because video cards are so off the hook expensive, which was what they were through most of 2018. Because of all the mining craze, we saw video cards selling for three to four times what their face value was. And that just absolutely, totally stunk because it made it so people couldn't really buy a game PC. You could get all the rest of the parts and when memory prices were really high last year, it made buying memory high as well. But right now, right now, Things are really cheap, especially if you're going for last generation. I mean, you know, in all cases, when you want to buy the stuff that's like right now, the most hippest, most expensive like stuff, that's going to be the really, really new stuff. But you don't really need that anyways. You may think you do, but you really don't. You can get a very nice video card. RX 580, honestly, to me right now, and the GTX 1060, those two cards, in my opinion, are two of the best cards right now for entry-level gaming. Both of those cards are right about the $200 level, which is a very fair price. And if you're doing only 1080p gaming, hey, you are good to go. Both these cards will play your games. They'll play a lot of the games at really nice settings and still look good. Um, honestly, and now that we've just talked another video, we now see that even if you have an NVIDIA card that you can use a FreeSync monitor, so it really doesn't matter if you have a FreeSync monitor, who you buy anymore, you know, what cards you buy, you can still be using all that technology, which is really, really cool. Just make sure that you're using the DisplayPort cable because it's not supported by HDMI. Also, CPUs, last generation, really, really inexpensive. Memories come down in price. Um, We've configured a few systems for you guys just using Amazon. Um, they're from like $600 to $700, and you can change the parts around as you like. These are just starting levels. You could use a little bit less and make it even cheaper, or you could use a little bit more and you can make it like a $900 or a $1,000 system. But you guys can just get an idea of right now how cheap stuff really is to put together a really good entry-level gaming system. I mean, it really is not hard right now at all. So if you're thinking, you know, hey, um, 
I've really been wanting to build a gaming system and I've been waiting for the time to be right. Now is a very good, good time, a seriously good time. Like I said, we've configured these systems and if you're willing to go and deal with eBay or any of these other places and buy used parts and wrist and roll the dice, I'm sure that you could build a PC for way less than even this. It really comes down to how many hoops you're willing to go through. I started thinking about this yesterday because if I really, really wanted to be the ultimate, ultimate cheap ass to buy my PC parts, I would literally have to drive over to Micro Center, make sure I bought probably my my, my motherboard, my CPU and memory, probably from those guys because they usually have the absolute best price. I'd have to drive over there like 20 miles away. I'd have to eat the gas, the time, all that stuff. Now, that's for the cheapest price. Or I could probably pay 25 or $30 more, just click the button on Amazon or somewhere else and get it. You know what I mean? It all depends on how many hoops you're willing to go through. If you're willing to go through all this stuff, you can find cheaper parts buying some at New Way, buying some from Micro Center, or you can simply go online and click a button. But even going online and clicking a button right now, you can still find serious deals on stuff and get really good systems for a low price. We all know that 4K gaming, yeah, 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 whatever. Some people claim that you came and really see it in 4K and it's just a complete waste of time. Honestly, I've never really noticed that much of any greatness in watching uh, a game in 4K. If I'm playing it in 1440 or 1080p and then I switch it into 4K, it, to me, it, a lot of times it just seems like things just get a little bit denser and, you know, maybe it's a little bit clearer. But is it really worth trying to pay all this money just trying to achieve 4K gaming when you can spend way less money, build yourself a system that'll play 1080p games and just go crazy, you know? You can get a really great monitor, 144 hertz. I mean, you can either get a FreeSync monitor, which is way cheaper in price. If you want to get a FreeSync 2 monitor, they're a little bit more because they're a hardware-based solution. We all know G-Sync monitors are like way overpriced. And um, obviously in some ways, now that NVIDIA is admitting, you know, that they can actually support a FreeSync monitor, I really don't know how G-Sync sales will do. Although I will say that you, you know, using, using the X27 Predator monitor, everything looks the best. It is the best gaming monitor I've ever used, but it's $2,000. And talking about monitors, even right now, I've seen a 27 inch monitor, 144 Hertz, super low latency, super fast response times, 120, $130 now. So let's just face it. You go in, you buy yourself a system tower 600 bucks you spend like 100 bucks on a monitor you buy one of those keys on, on online from scd key or somebody else and you and you get your, your 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 windows key you can have your whole system mouse and everything else and if you have like even a 900 dollars budget you can get speakers everything and be completely set up for your gaming pc and that's why i feel that right now is a really great time to build yourself a gaming pc because monitors are cheap peripherals are cheap GPUs are cheap. And let's just face it, we just left the Christmas season. We left Black Friday, Cyber Monday, all that craps in the past. So all that stock that people had that didn't sell, well, guess what? There's new products coming out from AMD. We're gonna obviously see new products from Nvidia this year, and that's just gonna further drive the products of the other stuff down lower and lower and lower, making it more affordable for both you and for me. We'll have links down below to all these different parts for these systems. Take a look at them because I think they're actually pretty decent systems. You guys can change stuff around inside of the configurator on Amazon, but you can see that on Amazon, you can build yourself a really nice system and they have a great warranty. They ship everything like really fast. Second day, if you got an Amazon account. So that's why we're, you know, using the Amazon thing. Plus if you guys do buy stuff through Amazon, it helps support the channel. It helps keep me in business and helps me keep bringing these videos to you guys on the table. If you're not subbed, hey, please please do so. I would always appreciate it. We'll have links to my music down below. We'll also have new musical versions of the new benchmark songs out available very soon. So you guys can be able to purchase those as well. But for now, everything really is just down below there. The system, the links, all that good stuff. If you don't have your notifications turned on, make sure you do. We also have Patreon going on. We always have different stuff going on Patreon, different giveaways and stuff like that. Always appreciate your support. Peace. Love you. See you guys back in the channel for more tech tomorrow.